any medical device patient monitor is of no use if the front end sensors patient cables transducers they don't function to exact oem specifications and well calibrated and maintained for a period of time in order to get a consistent throughput out of any medical equipment you have to have the complete setup to oem specifications tested and maintained seen here are the corometric spital monitors model 115 116 in the center at the bottom 120 series and there's one more 116 monitor 115 model is very old it's completely phased out ge doesn't manufacture anymore the transducer seen here is 5700 aax one of the oldest model very reliable rugged time tested as long as it is repaired maintained to oem specifications using oem cable connector and parts problem starts when after market parts are used especially the molded connectors that you see here on the right these are after market molded connectors from different vendors no matter where they come from the quality is so cheap in in order to reduce the cost all the materials processes used they are very cheap in quality using them consistently with the fetal monitor plug in and plug out cycles create a problem on the fetal socket and monitor starts picking up spurious high fetal heart rate in the range of 250 even with the brand new transducer from the core corometrix both the sockets for toco ultrasound or even ecg get damaged if after market parts after market connectors are used in addition the crystals used if they are non oem the center frequency drift spurious signal probability increases and the whole setup becomes unreliable the spurious readings they interfere with the clinical interpretation the spital simulator here is connected to 120 series monitor for toco and ultrasound simulation ultrasound signal level on the simulator is set to the low, lowest that means the spital monitor is quite sensitive showing 120 bits per minute that is a setting on the simulator the toco count the baseline is 10 and actual simulation setting here is 50 so it is giving us reading of 60 let's test this 5700x ultrasound transducer connected to the 116 monitor here These are the after market parts. You see a hole there uh, where the screws are used to fix the this top case with the bottom case. The other side of this part in order to show you this is the after market connectors which create problem on the fetal socket. the various types the most path pathetic ones are here you can see the breakage with a very little impact force or plug in force while putting on to the fetal monitor these get damaged and they damage the socket on the fetal monitor so in order to keep them perfectly with corometric g factory specifications it is recommended to use original connector that will not damage the fetal monitor and give very reliable performance over a long period of time 
At Avron Bionics, we repair these transistors to exact OEM specifications, giving a guarantee in case of doubt or if they don't function to OEM specification, have them tested from Corometrics factory, send in this report, will reimburse the complete cost paid along with the shipping cost. Also, the factory testing charges from G will be reimbursed and on top of that, a brand new transistor would be replaced free as compensation towards the failure for not meeting the promise to deliver OEM quality. No matter which transistor it is, ultrasound, TOCO, ECG or cables, they have to function to exact OEM specification consistently over a period of time that is guaranteed for that device after repair. We offer overall two-year warranty, have developed innovative technology for bonding crystals so that you get a lifetime warranty without any additional cost on OEM transistors. Of course, this technology is not tweaked yet for any compatible or aftermarket parts because it's not worth, they don't work reliably and last longer. Please go to nautilustoko.com, subscribe to our YouTube video channel Toko Expert. If you have any question, let us know and we would be very glad to help you and serve you with a world-class quality. Thank you.